All right, I just um, started again. So I have an Arch Linux from May. I have uh, I've made a clone, so right mouse click clone, and I'm gonna go after our installation. So I'm in here. I've done phase five, archway, phase one bias, then phase two, then phase three, which means I am now here. I should choose my one of my 16 desktops. So choose a desktop. I've chosen already and I've done deeping because of the fact that deeping is now a new kind of look and we're going to see how it performs on Arch Linux. The only thing I need to remember is this. This couldn't be any easier to install a desktop. Two words, deeping and deeping extra. The rest you know. Okay, so let's boot it up. The ISO is still in there. So I'm gonna say to the system, forget about the ISO, boot from the hard disk. And then it's gonna be a little bit tricky. I've told LightDM to boot up, but I haven't chosen anything behind it. Now it's super easy and all you require is knowledge. Control Alt F2, F3, F4, F5, F6 is going to a TTY on a real machine. This is not a real machine, this is a virtual box. So it's the right control on your keyboard, press it in and then for instance F3 and wait for it. And there you have your TTY, it's the same thing. I am who I am with a password that I've made and there you go, we're in. All I need to type in is sudo pacman, who I still need to set my keyboards, it seems. I can't do this I think, no. Nope but I can do this, load keys, and then BE. I think it was this one, okay. Yay, back in Azerti. Even though it's just a few things I have to type, i rather type in Azerti. So deeping and deeping extra. That's it. Can you believe it? You have a complete desktop environment with just two words. So you choose what you want to have. Um, I'm just going with the default always. Default, default. Okay. And then take a look at these names, right? Take a look, take a look. Don't just click away, but read it through. A lot of Theepings names, so it's important to see all the names with deeping and the last one start DDA okay so remember those those are the applications you can learn or set or configure or anything like that just keep following the words you can't read it sometimes because it's too fast but well you pick up things more than you think by watching the names reading the names Deep in Clutter, Deep in Kogel. Those two guys, we still see them at the top there. Deep in Kogel, Deep in Clutter. Those guys will uh, collide with Budgie. So um, Arch Linux made package builds and decided to make a different package for Kogel. And it's either this or that. So we cannot have a package that are providing similar or the same files. In this case, it's similar. So they say um, it conflicts with this package, it conflicts with that package. So you need to decide, do you want to remove? Yes, no, it's that's that kind of pop-up that Pac-Man then um, shows you. And it's important. If you do the Arch, um, the Arco Linux tweet tool, we have there the drop-down of 16 to install 16 desktop with a click of a button. But deeping is deeping and Arch is Arch. So we'll always have these conflicts. So you have to think about those. All right, let's have a look at the new, f oh, we don't have that, sudo reboot, uh, at the look of deeping. So we're booting up, go for the hard disk, and then we can play around a little bit, not too much, <laughs> but this is the new deeping. So we're greeted with, it's important to note guys that there are still issues and it's not up to us to fix it. No, it's up to Arch Linux to fix it. 
it says here 20 beta it's for a reason it says 20 beta we have users already asking questions right so we'll still have to wait for the updates as simple as that you'll have to wait we'll have to wait it's uh, an arch linux thing and this is it it's a bit different in look in style some of the things are working already some of the things are not working yet so it's uh, a matter of um, give it some time now it's there okay location back to the bottom fine so there was also the the location that's done we are the hidden and the smart height and all that but this is good that we can set things off like the onboard thing is something i don't want to see that's for uh, people to um, type this guy let's show you guys what onboard is if it pops up it did start on my other computer on Arch Linux, but it doesn't seem to start here so on board is a screen uh, with letters so a, a keyboard on on the screen that is normally installed well it might be not installed that's possible but it should be i think as a dependency but nevertheless i don't see anything f12 is not working in arch linux and then it's then it's figuring out things and it's figuring out the desktop and exploring the desktop so on b not on board okay sudo now oh, let's let's first fix our keyboard do we have a key no i can't type keyboard here keyboard and language add custom repeat test memory keypad well so there is anything there is something with the keyboard so let's have a look here this keyboard layout english uh, there we go again english be maybe we can type let's have a look nope that's not type although all right I don't see enough there are lots lots and lots of more how about dutch no dutch belgium that's strange so i don't see all of the keyboards maybe it's still beta for a reason so i'm kind of stuck with uh unless maybe it's this thing nope that's it don't have any more all right so pseudo pacman minus s and then onboard right is it installed well if it's not installed i can't click it right click oh here it is what's this then well now you know what it is so this is on board uh, was it how could i could i oh, hear this quit don't want to see it anymore so that's an option but i uh, don't know what this up oh, there it is it does respond now when i click on this button fine all right so that's fixed we just needed to install it if you want it uh, what else plugins so you don't want to see on board it's gone uh, daytime multitasking view show desktop power trash and everything is no more in this uh, sidebar so um, it's gonna be in here with um, accounts display default settings personalization sound network mouse system info maybe somebody likes to see some numbers so that's it edition license all right you can have a team just quickly go over so you see some data there is a dark kind of look that's an interesting 
way I've been playing around with it like this and on the cursor theme we have our Bibata cursor which is orange and then this guy goes together with uh, that one that's nice display scaling refresh rate and accounts there was an issue with the accounts that's solved by now so if you have a um, PAMEC AUR for instance so we don't have yay yet installed we don't have PAMEC yet installed it's all Arch Linux really um, still very uh, virgin Arch Linux installation nothing Arco in here and you don't need to put anything Arco in here it's just um, you need more stuff right you need yay and you need maybe the the Bash RC from Arch Linux because update doesn't work or poll doesn't work uh, lots of things that you're used to rip and stuff like that doesn't work uh, sudo reboot doesn't work i mean it's lots of things that maybe are read already in the fingers in the mind then you need to get to a particular place and that's maybe best for another video so how to get to uh, arch linux so spice up that's what they call it spice up arch linux get the spices from arco linux a lot of things this guy is uh, not working in yet so you see here that it breaks the system if you want to change the wallpaper so what i do now on the hardware is control alt uh, backspace so control alt backspace is going to shut down deeping and you're back in lightm and you can log in and everything is back and you don't touch that button anymore until updates come in and arch linux fixes it that's uh, that's why it's called beta right but again uh, it's a nice thing to already have a look at it uh, it has been pushed forward by arch linux so that's nothing we can do there we just follow the pushes from arch linux and i um, mostly say to people if there is an issue give it three days and it's solved and it is it was solved uh, for instance our Arch Linux tweak tool was not loading on PAMIC AOR. Anything asking a pseudo password was not loading. But give it a few days, up, and it's worked. It's working now today. So we'll get that fixed as well. So remember, Ctrl Alt Backspace is one of the most important keyboard uh, shortcuts there are. If you're in trouble, you press it, you're back to the LightDM. So breaking down. Uh, system, Xmonad, Qtile, things you've changed in your config and say, oh, it's not working anymore. Control, Alt, Backspace. All right. But I can't do this here. This is a virtual box. All right. Can't do that here. So the only thing we could do, well, best thing in a virtual box would be what I would do is a Control and then R. Reset. Simple. A small button that says reset control uh, the right control eh? and then R of course you see these errors because you just plucked uh, pulled the plug so to speak right so but you're out of it and you're back in and everything was working again afterwards and get a nice um, look again now if you do want to change the wallpaper so you know you have to keep up off from this one <laughs> all I do is use the power of variety yep variety is ready to be installed so terminal and then you say pseudo pacman minus variety let's try to type it <laughs> like this not bad right for an azerty guy And then we have variety in our system. We install it. We run it. I don't think that was variety I started. <laughs> variety, variety. So that one. Okay, now we get the normal setup. You don't see them because we've fixed everything. Okay, fine, it's here. And now I can say next. So we do. Thomas Cook Voyages, what is that? So you can uh, indeed change things. And you have a nice, beautiful deeping, right? And it's okay, it's still beta, but it's uh, a nice thing to explore again because it's, well, not new, but it is newish. It's stylish and um, have fun with it, all right? 
Next video is going to be about uh, getting the, the tweak tool, working with the tweak tool on Arch Linux. So we're getting, going to get the spices of Arch Linux in, and we have a specific tool for that. All right, I'm out.